Abscast. Yeah, no, I, I, I completely agree. I think, I think there is a danger of that, and I think that VAR is the perfect example because VAR is only good for neutrals. It's only good for neutrals, right? It's not good for anyone inside the stadium. It's not good for anyone who supports a club because every single club now has been affected massively by either celebrating a goal and going completely wild for it only to be chalked off or which is by far the worst byproduct of VAR, not celebrating a goal that you really want to celebrate. Now that is the worst feeling in the world because celebration of a goal is the pinnacle of any football fan and any footballer's life. That's the whole point. The whole point of supporting a football team is at the pinnacle to celebrate a goal. So if you can't do that and if that's being taken away because maybe television companies want to create a slightly more exciting product for the neutrals, which I understand because they're a business and they are the reason that Premier League footballers can bring in these amazing players because they're the ones who are basically the majority shareholders of the Premier League because they pump in the most amount of money, right? So I can understand why you would want to make it more appealing for a mass audience. But you are right, there's a real, real danger of actually like killing the enjoyment and the love of football from fans. And that that is something that worries me. I think VAR is a byproduct, byproduct of it. I think kickoff times are absolutely absurd. I remember not that long ago, maybe like three, four years ago, I had to get up at three o'clock in the morning to go down to Bournemouth from Manchester for a 12.30 kickoff. Now, no one's thinking about any fans there. They don't care. They're just thinking about what game they can show on the sky. Oh, it's the Champions. Let's put it at 12.30. Well, that's not acceptable. Ticket in pricing, completely unacceptable. The City City Spurs game the other day, I've got a season ticket, so I think mine's quite cheap because of my age. So it works out at like maybe like 25 quid a game, which is fantastic. Mm. But I went on the website to buy my friend a ticket for the City Spurs game. £68 was the cheapest ticket midweek. In Manchester, which is a working class town, like that's disgusting to me. It's not acceptable. And the more that football goes this way, you are right. That I mean, the, the the fans are just being left by the wayside. They have been for ages now, anyway. And VAR is is just another product of that. You can't celebrate a goal in a stadium anymore. If you score from a corner, you can't celebrate it because there might be a handball or there might be an offside. So. It, <laughs> Yeah, I th um, VAR has, has really, for me, killed the enjoyment of going to the game. I think, you know, when you watch it, like you watch the World Cup or whatever, mm -hmm. and someone scores a goal, and there's like a three-minute wait. I I'm not going to pretend, even though I hate VAR, I'm not going to pretend that I don't find that exciting. I find that really exciting. When I've got no skin in the game, I do, I find it exciting. I find the wait exciting, then the cheer, when the decisions, you know, revealed which way. It, it, it's, it is entertaining. But at the price of that is real supporters who have been shafted for years and this is just another extension of that. See, the difference is, if you look at something similar, like Hawkeye in cricket or the TMO in rugby or even mic'd up refs in American football, because yeah. you've got more transparency and more screens and more kind of like involvement with the fans, like Hawkeye will show if a ball is LBW or if it nicked the bail off the wicket or whatever and then you see uh if it's a try or was a foot in touch in rugby the fans can see so yeah. if the decision is horrible the fans will start cheering because they can see there's a try and if the try is not given you can hear the outcome they're like what the fuck because they can see mm. it on the screen and then with nfl you can hear the 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 refs are mic'd up and then they'll announce to the whole stadium we think the decision is whatever and then it's you know first down over here or whatever it might be at least the fans are included in that the problem with var yeah. is you've just got var check going on up there and you don't mm -hmm. know what they're seeing and the the man united game was really interesting when they when they played arsenal the winning goal and this is this is kicked up an absolute stink on on social media because they didn't show anything on on sky in terms of what was the freeze frame initially for the goal to yeah. stand then it was released a load of stills were released online showing um was it i think it was trossard you had zinchenko yeah. and i think it was varan was playing him on what everyone was then saying is if you actually watch the american broadcasters who show the next frame trossard actually delayed the pass that he made zinchenko was offside so what are yeah. they looking at and i think yeah. that's why fans are infuriated because you've got something like that where they don't know what's going on and which frame is being looked at. Of course, we had the issue a couple of years ago with somebody like, I think it was Son, his shoelace or something stupid. He was offside yeah. or he'd called for the ball 
and his hand was offside, but you can't score with your hand anyway, so how can yeah. that be offside? Um, and they, I don't think they know what's going on. I think that's part of the And then, of course, you've got the, the Man United City game, the Bruno goal, or was it a goal? And that's where the rules start becoming absurd. And VAR is now yeah. going, in one instance, they're going really anal to the, to the letter of the law. And in another game, they're not. So the fans are like, well, what, what the, what the hell here? No, I, mean, I think you're right. I think that the the track. Um, cast.